ladies, this is Coach Nina Roach, and I'm here to help you meet your fitness goals. Um, we are ending, we're drawing near to our round two six week challenge. Um, I'm so proud of all of you guys, you worked really hard. Um, today we're gonna talk about things to keep you healthy. If you do not know your cholesterol numbers, I want you to find them out. Um, if they are above 200, I'm gonna give you some things you can do today if they are close to 200, I'm going to give you some things today to lower it. And if it is not 200, these are still good things to do to keep it from getting to 200. Now, I will remind you that I am not a doctor or a certified um, nutritionist. Um, these are all natural methods, but still consult your doctor before doing anything um, that will change your dietary um, habits that could affect your health. Okay, um, but these are all good tips, so no worries. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is cut down your trans fat. Trans fat is the biggest offender when it comes to high cholesterol. Trans fat, uh, you'll also find it, it, it will look like hydrogenated oils or partially hydrogenated oils on the nutrition box. So on the nutrition column. So when you're buying something, um, the first three ingredients should not be hydrogenated oils. Um, you want to stay away from processed food. Um, those are the things that are high in trans fat um, because trans fat, the way they um, create it is it extends the shelf life of foods. So if it is processed or if it lasts a long time, it is probably high in trans fat, which is not good for you. Okay. Two, choose meats with fewer saturated fats. Fishing, uh, fishing, fish, chicken, and turkey. Um, they are your all-stars. If you are eating those things, you are doing great. Switch up your protein every now and again. Go easy on the red meats. Red meats, um, they're not totally not beneficial, but you will have healthier um, circulation, healthier body if you stick to um, turkeys, chicken, and fish. Um, your choice. Switch it up. Uh, only have fish a few times um, a week, maybe one or two, and then stick with your chicken and turkey, okay? Um, also try to avoid processed meat, same thing, because it's processed, it it's high in trans fat, and we wanna stay away from that. Um, the fish has a lot of your omega-3s, and those are your healthy fats. Those are your brain fats to make your brain work well, and we all need a well-working brain. So definitely get a lot of your omega-3s in there. All right, eat more soluble fiber. Soluble fiber um, is found in whole grain, oats, barley, kidney beans, things of that sort. Um, sol soluble means it is easily absorbed in your bloodstream. So um, we usually think of fiber and we think it's good for our digestion to help our digestion, but soluble fiber is good for your heart because it's absorbing the things that break um, the food down in your bloodstream and it helps with your cardio cardiovascular health. So things that are rich in soluble fiber, that means fiber that is um, absorbed well into your body. I'm gonna list some things really quick. Bar barley, oats, quinoa, whole grain bread, lentils, kidney beans, and chickpeas. Um, how to boost your unsaturated fat and fiber. Um, everybody loves to snack and snacking is good um, as long as you're snacking healthy. So again, you have to avoid the potato chips, the processed food um, because they're high in trans fat. Um, so you wanna boost your unsaturated fat. So snack on berries, fruits and vegetables, things of that sort, okay? Nuts are big. Nuts have so many nutritional uh, benefits. Um, so you want to um, dig in on your nuts, okay? Because they have a great source of sol soluble fiber. It's If you can add nuts to your um, diet, it will double impact it's like a double dose of impacting your cholesterol health, okay? So I'm gonna uh, read you a few things that are great for your diet. Um, 
if you're not where to sh start on things that are good to snack. Um, avocados, carrots, strawberries, blueberries, oranges, grapes, olives, peas, broccoli, apples, okra, eggplant, walnuts, peanuts, almonds, cashews, and pistachios. So those are some great snacks to have if you have, um, if you put a um, put some fruit in a bowl and then cover it with your favorite nut and granola. That is just a healthy meal. Put some yogurt in there. We're going to talk about yogurt right now. Um, if you have high cholesterol, you want to embrace the low-fat dairy products. Um, cheese and yogurt, those are high. Um, they will make your cholesterol high. So um, you definitely want to embrace the low-fat. So low-fat low fat yogurt, low-fat milk, low-fat what other cheese if you can. Um, and it could be very different for you, but in the long run, it will benefit you so much. All right, so we're going to talk about preparing your food a little bit different um, so you're not taking in so much fat. So um, a lot of us probably already do this. If not, try it. Um, when you're cooking, either before you prepare your food or before you eat your food, take off the skin and the fat. Trim the skin, trim the fat. Um, if you love the flavor that it gives, keep the fat on, but don't eat the fat because if we don't want to eat, if we don't if we don't want to consume the fat, then when you're eating your meal, you don't want to consume the fat either. Okay, so be sure to trim off your skin, trim off your fat, either before you cook it or before you eat it um, because sometimes it provides great flavor. Totally up to you. All right, seven, we're almost there. Replace your butter and margarine with healthy oils. Um, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, um, vinegar, uh, not vinegar, <laughs> um, olive oil, all of the oils. There's actually so many oils out there right now just because health is such, um, it's in right now to be healthy. So they have provided people with a lot of oils. Try to stay away from your margarine and your butter because it does have a lot of fat in it. It is, um, it's not as healthy as cooking with oils and oils, is, they're lighter. Um, eight is prepare a vegan meal once a week. So what you're gonna do is you're going to overload your body with vegetables, um, your irons, um, your vitamin D, all of that. Um, so once, once you're going to start with one meal, um, a week. So pick a day. Let's say my day is Thursday, Thursday morning, I'm going to have a vegetarian meal. And once you get that down consistently, then do two meals. Um, let's say breakfast and dinner. I'm going to have a vegetarian meal lunch. I'm still going to throw my meat in there. Um, but for breakfast and dinner, I'm going to do no meat. Um, once you get that down consistently, then do a whole day once a week. Um, that's taking out the fat, the hormones. The, it's just taking out so much when you remove the meat once a week. Okay? Should be really beneficial. Um, number nine. Actually, this is the last one. I said ten, but we're only going to do nine. The last one, um, actually, the first one is talk to your doctor about your doctor, your health coach, whatever. Um, and this is actually nine, I'm sorry. Number nine is talk to your doctor or your health coach about the plan to lower your cholesterol. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. We have a plan. Um, I've given you some tips of things. I hope you're taking notes. Do those things. Um, if you actually have high cholesterol, your doctor will put you on a plan um, sometimes it comes with medication, sometimes it doesn't. But we want to steer clear of medication um, because it's it's not from our body. So we want to keep our bodies as pure as possible. So let's do the natural route first and hopefully that um, addresses the problem. And then if it doesn't, your doctor will prescribe some medication. The last one is after consulting with your doctor about lowering your carter, uh, cardiovascular health, health or lowering health, and lowering your cholesterol. The last thing, number 10, is what we have already been doing, is movement is medicine. You have to get active. You cannot expect your heart to be healthy if you are not working it. So movement is medicine, ladies. Get up and move. If you work at a desk job, every few minutes, every 15 minutes, get up, 
do some jumping jacks, put on some music, get up and move. You are alive. Um, life is for the living. So get up and move your body. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. It has been great. I look forward to seeing you guys um, later this week and um, be blessed.